Hello everybody, this is the Dodgy Kebab, and in this video I want to try and answer the age-old question. Are old games harder than modern games? Well, that's a hard question to answer, as difficulty is subjective. What I find hard, you might find easy. I might play a game like this. I one year go Whereas you may flail around like this. I'm going to take some flack for this video. I know I'm going to get some crap comments at some point. Someone's going to say, oh, Robocop was the hardest game ever, or Jet Set Willy's the hardest game ever, or Trivial Pursuit on the fucking Wii was is hard. And, you know, that's quite a modern game. Well, I think I've got the fairest way to answer this fairly difficult question. I'm going to get three games from three different genres. Each of those games has to have a modern and a vintage equivalent. I'm going to play the two and then see which one of the two in the same series was harder. So the three games that I'm going to be covering which have both modern and vintage equivalents. The first game I'm going to look at is Rocket Knight Adventures which has a PlayStation 3 version and the Sega Mega Drive version. So that's going to be your platforming game. I'm going to look at Outrun on the PlayStation 3 and Outrun on, well, the arcade. I'm going to actually use the Sega Saturn version, but it's the, it's the same game anyway. So that's racing sorted. And then also I'm going to use Street Fighter. This might be a little bit controversial with some people because I'm going to use Street Fighter 4 from the PlayStation 3, but the version I'm going to use, the retro one, I'm actually going to use Street Fighter Alpha 2. Well, actually Street Fighter Zero 2 because using the Japanese version. That's from 1996, so to me that's still retro anyway. Okay, you could say, well, you should use uh, original Street Fighter 2 off the arcade. Uh, I don't think that's actually quite a good comparison because I think Alpha Zero series actually plays quite similar to the new ones. I, th I think they're quite similar, and the only thing that actually divides the two really is age. If you go and play Street Fighter 2 and then go and play uh, Street Fighter 4, there's a, quite a big difference. So, using Alpha, we're still using an old game, comparing it to Street Fighter 4, which is a new game, so I think that's the fairer test. So let's kick this off with Rocket Knight Adventures. Never played the PS3 version, never played the original Mega Drive version, never played Sparks there either. So, doesn't matter, that makes it good, because I've, you know, I've got no background skills on it. So, I pretty much flew through the entire demo on one, in one game, it, easy. It wasn't. It was quite a good game. It wasn't enjoyable enough for me to go. Wow! I better unlock this for nine quid. It wasn't that great. So anyway, I flew straight through. It was quite easy. Me moved on to the Mega Drive game and found out any skills I'd gained during my brief play of the HD version were rendered totally obsolete, as the games are laid out pretty differently. Yeah, sure. Both games have similar jumping, jetpacking, and even both have a flying section but they both feel very different. Uh, the 16-bit game is fluid, the levels have lots of variety, and that music! Oh, that music! The HD remake just doesn't have that same sort of charming sound. And remember, this is the first time I've actually played either version. Just listen to the HD one, you can tell it's not as good. The levels seem pretty long on the PS3 version, and the platform sections are overused, where the Mega Drive version it just keeps throwing different ideas in all the time. But the main point is how hard they both were. Well, on the PS3 I completed the demo in just one life, whereas the Sega game, I used up two continues and I didn't get as far. So at this point I had my answer, but as a side note, I kept playing the Mega, uh, Sega Mega Drive game after I finished recording because it was great fun. 
Now we move on to Outrun, the Sega classic, made by Yo Suzuki, the same legend that made Shenmue. <laughs> So I'm doing this in the same order I did with Rocket Knight, I'm going to play the modern version first. You can see that here. This is Outrun and it is great. It plays really well, it controls really well, it looks good as well. You can't fault this game. Even though you're sliding, you're drifting, you're all over the place, you always feel like you're t in total control of the car. Any mistakes are your mistakes and not the game. That said, I've done it in one go, all the way to the end. Admittedly, I, I went left, 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 so it gives you the easiest route, but I still did it. One credit, done, finished. And then I played the 80s version. Now, I've completed this before, but today I was awful. I think to get my skills back, I really have to practice, practice, practice. I haven't played it out one, the modern one in ages, but I still just flew through it. This one, hard. You, you don't feel like you've got quite as much control over the car because you can't do all the crazy skids and everything. It's not quite exactly the same sort of game, but it does sort of feel the same. But it's a lot harder. I think it's because the road feels narrower and you can't. It's harder to dodge the other cars. You can't quite time the um, like getting past them quite as easy. So I only got about halfway through. So that was definitely harder than the modern equivalent. And the last game for this experiment is Street Fighter. Here we are, Street Fighter 4 on the PlayStation 3. I've played quite a bit of Street Fighter actually before, I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm not super ha hardcore on it, must have all the hoary joysticks and all the rest of it. But I'm, you know, pretty capable at the game. I can just be Ken and smash it through on the hardest setting. I'm still using a joypad, but I'm still pretty good. Today I had a bit of a shocker. I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to. You usually can get all the way up to Seth in one in one credit, then just get cheaped by him. Today I didn't get quite that far. Um, so after I got beaten, I wasn't going to keep continuing. I wasn't going to continue once. I thought if I die, then I'll just move on to the next one. I died. I moved on to Street Fighter Zero Two. So here we are, Street Fighter Zero Two on the Sega Saturn. That's Zero Two, not Alpha Two. It's the Japanese one, you see. That's why he's called Nash and not Charlie on the screen. So this game, I got just as far with as I did in the modern one. So and that's why I wanted to use this one and not normal Street Fighter Two because they're very similar games, only split up by just under two decades in time. Very similar. So what has this said? What is the conclusion here? Well. First of all, Rocket Knight Adventures. The Mega Drive one was a lot harder than the retro one. With that particular game, uh, it was just harder. It was just it was laid out harder. It was uh, they, they'd thought more about it. It was just a harder game. The new one was just easy crap. What about Outrun? That was easy on the new one as well. I put that down to better controls. Actually, it. That's what I think. Uh, I think the newer one is is just easier to control. I think if the old one controlled just as well as the new one, I would have done just as well. So that's difficult for two different reasons. There, one, the actual game's difficult. The second one, difficult because of your the way you have to input your controls into the game. Street Fighter, where the controls are quite similar on both versions, got the same res same result. So. What's the conclusion here? Are old games harder? Eh, kind of, in a way. That's my answer. If you put them on a level playing field like Street Fighter, then no. Some games just don't control very well in the old days, and some games, well, some games are harder. So people that say, oh yeah, all old games are hard, that's crap. And all new games are easy, mm, not really, not really. I hope you've got you've taken something away from this video yourself and I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm off. Goodbye!